hello lovely people welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how i get this classic and romantic valentine's day makeup look i wanted it to be very wearable and suitable for even a day tonight be it your first date or not and it doesn't even matter whether you are single or taking just go grab some makeup and do it for yourself just to feel good i hope you love it so let's just get into it. i'm starting from a fresh skin i'm going to clean her skin with the Garnier micellar cleansing water i'm going to clean every part that um, i know i'm going to put in makeup and then next we are moving on to the eyebrows i'm not going to go into detail that as i always do because i already have an eyebrow tutorial which i'll put in the right corner of this video please if you aren't following me on social media this is my social media handle for instagram and snapchat let's become friends so let's continue vibing there you can always follow me so that we um get to be friends there and so um i'm just going through the eyebrow routine as it should be i just love showing snippets of it because i know how satisfying it can be to watch the whole process sometimes so the next thing we are going to do is prime her skin and i'm using the milk hydro grip primer guys this is the best primer i have ever come across like it can be used on all skin types whether you have dry oily combination skin it's just a bit expensive but i am telling you guys it is worth it like this is the best primer that i ever invested in it keeps your makeup long like it grips the makeup just as the name is it's very long lasting so for foundation we are using the nas um long wear radiant foundation this is her perfect shade um i think i'll put the shade in the description box after blending in her foundation we are moving on to concealer i'm using the zaron cosmetics concealer which is a nigerian owned brand and i really love this concealer it reminds me of the colourpop cosmetics no filter concealer they act almost the same way and the coverage is a medium coverage so you see that um i went ahead to blend out the concealer but the first shade i used was in earth which was very close to her skin shade so i decided to go along and lighten it a bit by using the shade um deep so deep is a bit lighter than earth so i went ahead with deep and then blended everything out next then is to contour and for this particular look i use the maybelline fit me 375 i always contour by picking the product from the back of my hand with a brush and then placing it i'm just not for the whole contour technique where they draw lines and then blend it out later on that technique is so difficult you you really spend a lot of time blending out those lines anyway guys i just want you to notice how beautiful the foundation is sitting on her skin yes that is the power of a good primer and i'm going ahead to contour her nose with the remaining of whatever is left on the brush i used so guys i lost the footage on how i set underneath her eyes i used the sasha buttercup powder to set underneath her eyes and then you saw me using the color boss brow boss to also set her brows now i'm just contouring her skin um using a darker shade of powder from the palette i showed you that was the the lady v beauty palette 
yeah so now i'm just going straight into the lady v beauty blush and i'm picking some rosy tones i because it's a valentine inspired look i wanted her cheeks to look very bold and quite rosy so more like a pinky rosy vibe so now i just decided to bronze up her skin a bit so i'm picking the abyss invisible powder in the shade nc6 that has more of a bronzy undertone a bit reddish so that i can bronze up her skin with it i know i know that i contoured but sometimes putting the bronzing powder between the blush and the contour kind of makes everything lighter so i went ahead to use her own face powder so that is the apis invisible powder in nc4 and and i'm taking some of the face powder underneath her eyes just to dust off the excess setting powder this is going to ensure that underneath her eyes does not look whitish or she doesn't get a white cast when she takes pictures so i took some of the powder to her neck area just to make sure everything is blending now i'm spraying her face with the morphe continuous setting spray another good product one of the best things i also don't regret investing in it sets your makeup no matter how much powder you put on your face this setting spray is going to melt everything in so we are moving on to the eyes i first used uh, some concealer to blend the lid and make it smooth for eyeshadow application and for eyeshadow i'm taking blush so i took the pastel pink in the lady v beauty palette and blended it onto her eyes i'm just taking a simple blending brush and just i pick it then i place it onto her eyes i wanted it to be something very gentle nothing too much to do so now i'm taking the gvs place palette the shades were ada ada and something so that's what i used to contour around her eye i didn't want to get any deep contour for a valentine's day look you don't want to go too dark you want to look as classy as simple as gentle as possible you know for romantic tones you want to tone down the darkness so i'm moving on to line her eyes i'm using the ink Thoughts number 77 gel liner so i'm giving her a feline um kind of line this is quite harsh but for her eye shape this is what was going to make her eyes stand out and pop so i used the inglot for her under eye and i also used the inglot for her top liner for her top liner i decided to give her a tiny little wink at the end just so that when um she put on lashes her eyes will look a bit um obtained like a cat eye you can definitely leave the eyes like this if you are going for a daytime look you don't have to do much this is okay for a daytime outing but if you are going for a nighttime look i decided to put some shimmer on it so um i went ahead and picked the nyx cosmetics shimmer down pigment and then placed a bit of it onto her eyes i also added a little bit of the evita joseph eye pigment this pigment just changed the whole game to another level man do you see the glow on her eye it gave her so much glow and this is a ghanaian owned brand you guys we have good things in ghana i went ahead to fix her lashes and i'm using the wet and wild mascara to kind of blend her natural lashes to the falsies so for her glow i'm using the younger beauty um loose loose highlighter and the highlighter name is called Pokish. This is also a Nigerian owned brand that is doing really well. And I really love how their highlighter 
um, looks on the skin. So I went ahead and used the same highlighter on her nose to highlight the tip of her nose to give her sort of a pointed nose. Now I'm taking the Black Radiance Contour Palette, the highlighter in it. I went over all the highlighted areas with that and I took it also in the inner corner. The Black Radiance was just to make it a bit more um super super highlighted you know it makes it looks beautiful in pictures so i'm moving on to the lips i first did a nude lip color combination i've done several nude lips here so you all know i use a beauty by ad brown matte um liquid lippy to line first then i go in with my stila cosmetics nude lips and i topped up with a clear lip gloss from jordana cosmetics just to make everything look so juicy and nice you know for a date nice you want your lips to look very outstanding beautiful so yeah that is it for the nude or glossy lip option i decided to add another lip option which is going in for the classic red you know just because as well and times you might want to show more color and so um, I didn't show that one on camera because I already have a video where I've done my classic red lipstick and um, I'll put that also in the suggested card in the corner or at the end of this video so guys this is the final look I really loved how it came I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do that now don't forget to click the bell in the right side